using this to use um, a bit of both um, a bit of Final Cut Pro and uh, no sorry motion and uh, for the trailers um, this is the trailer um, presentation so I'm going to open up motion uh, let's go to motion uh, do, 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 do. where are you uh, motion there we go so motion's better because you can actually have control of the text you can add sort of different effects to the text and things uh, you can even use it to like you can see here final cut effects generators transitions you can get really deep with this program deeper than people realize so motion is going to be 1080 uh, 1080 and it's going to be for 10 seconds so I better get rid of that I don't want it to be a minute uh, 10 seconds so uh, I'm just going to I want it to be exactly 10 seconds so that's the time code yeah so 10 seconds uh, open up it's going to be 1080 so yeah I'm going to import the um, the long journey that's the art film so that's no good it's the long journey short academic version mp4 now one of them is bigger than the other that's the, I want a larger one just in case it affects the what's it called so yeah it's popped into the 1080p there size perfectly um, and it obviously it doesn't last uh, we can't we can only see 10 seconds of it but that's okay because as I chop it up it seems to continue past that anyway so I'm going to import the um, the audio for this as well so I'm going to import the audio now there's two audios there's the um, audio for the trailer, so we'll start with trailer one um, I've got audio in there now, so if I press play you should be able to hear it so I've got to for the audio of that the audio um, I'm going to have to I might have to do I change the audio for the track? I think you do it. You can do it on here. Um, hmm. I'm not. See, I've never, never fingered with the audio on there. So properties. Uh, has it got audio? In fact, I need to change this to cinema because the, there's two sh layouts. So I prefer the inspector to be over here. Um, You've got properties, but unfortunately, the audio is no audio on it. So let's have a look if there's an audio. See, so usually with audio, you can. I'd have thought right click would have worked. I might have to do the trailers then in Final Cut Pro instead. Um, and then add the text afterwards in motion so yeah what we'll do is I'll con compose it in Final Cut Pro it'll be a lot easier so we've got we'll do a new project and we'll call this one the trailer one I might just add trailer actually just call it trailer trailers uh, and then I'm going to import that the actual academic version so downloads the academic version which should be let's have a look at duration so that's not doing it is it so content created there we are so oh I might should be on desktop no wonder so yeah we're looking for the short academic one, the uh, with the shortest size. One minute thirty seconds. I can't see the size. There we are. Spelling. There we are. Short. There we are. Brilliant. So I've got to find that now, which is a bit frustrating. The I wish this was a bit more easier to use. So. Sure, got to find it in this. <laughs> oh no, 
There's all this stuff at the side here. Uh, great. So, where's it gone to? I think you can do it this way. Oh, what am I doing? I don't want that. I've got to find it. So it's not that version. It's not that. There's so much inf so much in here. I'd have to. Once I've done this project, I'll have to wipe it and just sit back it all up. That's not it. That's my stuff. Oh no. Academic Molly. That's the academic all these bad trips. Oh no. How come it's got two here? If I look for it, I'm sure there's a way to search for it. So the trailers, yeah, I'm in, I'm in there. I want the intro spelling fixed. I want that. That's the it should give me dates I think I could probably just download just drag it in from the screen See, it's dated, so why is it not come up? There we are, I'm just going to drag it off the screen. So, um, it's this one, isn't it? So, if I let's look at the size 90 megabytes. If I drag that into this, can you drag it into the project window? Yeah, there we are. So, I'm going to next, I've got to detach the audio. Right, then I'm going to put in trailer one because this is a lot easier doing it this way. Um, and then I'm going to go for go to uh, downloads and trailer one. Oh, so it lasted 13 seconds, did it? Trailer one, there we are. So there we go. So So we'll, we'll chop the sand up at 10. There we are. So if we use the slice tool here, it gives us at least then we've got we've got that there. Now I'm not going to have the impossible journey coming up here because I'm just going to use the trailer to. I'm going to add text that to that myself, so it's going to be some of the interesting parts. This is the scream, so I think the scream is one of the most powerful scenes. Boom! So she pops off there. Let's have another clip from the. I think the best ones, the the the, ones, the blood bit at the end, the ghost cat coming in, and I like that scene there. So let's just do that. Perfect. And then we've got one more scene with Bob Marley, the Marley thing. Uh, uh, I think that's quite a good little scene there. I think just having a bit of that, isn't it, together, and then there's that part there to there. So there we are. We've got three clips. Uh, three, it's like a teaser, isn't it? Ah, I knew that was going to do that, the sand. So let's just see. The problem with Final Cut Pro is if you delete, I'm going to put the sand, the sand out of the way somewhere there, and then I'm going to just delete the bits that you don't need anymore. So we've got 
that clip there brilliant that every every long area is going to be the but you don't need so obviously you don't need that uh, don't need that trailer, so I'm just going to put that there. And I'm going to do a, I want to do a dot. I'm going to do a, go to the generator. And I'm going to just put black in. Um, it'll be custom. I just put that in the beginning. Um, shorten it. So it's just there, and I want to create some fade-ins, so it sort of like fades to it. So I think you go to that, and you go to fade to colour. So I think that's it, and you just click that in, fade to colour. So yeah, and then you can do another one. So just edit, copy that. We can chop it up a little bit if if necessary. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just paste it at the end and then drag them in. And I'm going to shrink it in a minute as well. So I'm going to edit, paste, and then shrink it in to here. And I'm going to. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, zoom in to the. Uh, I'm just going to put that in there. And I'm going to so you know, as you can see, it creates this sort of effect and then fade to color. So just fade to color again. Just Fade to colour, fade to colour, fade to colour. Now it's a bit longer than it, the, the 10 seconds there. I'm going to have to do some, get rid of that in a minute. I'll have to pop them out, the transitions, but it's just to give me an overall, I like that effect. So yeah. Um, so now I can zoom in. So just go to view, so Apple. So you use your Apple key, do you? Apple and minus and shift. Oh, I don't know the keys for that then. Just go to zoom in then. Just keep doing it. Oh, please zoom in. What's going off here? There's usually another way to do this, but well, usually it does it that way. Where? Now what? It's not letting me zoom in. That's annoying. It's going to change the view of this as well to fit. I think it is in fit, yeah. Mm, that's unusual. It's not zooming in. How annoying is that? I bet if you click zoom out, it will. Oh, it's zooming out of the actual. I want it to zoom in there. If you zoom in, let's have a look. It's not zooming into this. Usually it does. How annoying. View, zoom in. View, zoom in. Why is it going all the way over there? Nah, the handle's there. Sometimes I know you can move the handle about. Ah, here we are, look. I'm just going to click zoom to samples again. Oh, here we are, it's working now. This must have been a bit of a bug. So we can just zoom out a bit here, view, zoom out. So I just want to be able to see the zoom out until it's just at the perfect spot. Now. And there we are. So if I change that, in fact, I'm going to change, I need to just take these out a minute, these transitions, uh, just so I can cut the actual sequence up properly before adding them fade to color. <laughs> So okay, so we need to sort of make that a bit bigger, make that smaller, make that smaller. So we've still we've still got a thing coming off here, so I'm just gonna sort of shrink these because we need it to last ten seconds. So yeah. That's quite good. This one can 
be a lot shorter. There we are. In fact, I won't mind just getting rid of that sort of beginning part there. Wonderful. And then just add a bit of black. Edit copy. And just V it in. There we are. So now we can do fade to colour. Uh, there, just shrink it a bit, shrink it, uh, fade to colour, shrink it, which one did it go on that side, uh, fade, to, just fade it, to, what, oh how annoying, I think it's a fade isn't it, or white, is it blur? type the word fade in fade to colour yeah so I'm gonna drag that there I'm gonna drag that there I'm gonna it's quite a lengthy video this isn't it creating these trailers working in short spaces of time is, is, is an art in itself it's like learning to drive the slow roads can be the most trickiest uh, so yeah Oh, I like the way this sounds coming in as well. There we are, awesome. So th this black part here as well. What's happened there? We've got a little bit of a. Let's just extend that, and then we can put text into these areas here. So we've got yeah, this is the trailer one. So this is people being victimised. I like that. Yeah, I love it. So that's good for a trailer, isn't it? Um, and then we can just put like text in afterwards. So. If I export that, uh, let's share it, um, export file, so export file, yep, um, and it will be very quick, it's 1080p, it will be 25 megabytes, uh, next, just give it a name for the thingy, so just call it uh, trailer1. Okay, save, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the audio out now, and I'm going to import another bit of audio here. So we've got trailer two, hopefully somewhere. Well, let's see. Let's just watch it. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> um, for some reason, it didn't import short chord and music. It didn't import over. I don't think we can actually go in here. We, this is quite a good one. I don't know if it's saved to the cloud though. You can import. That's inspection. I think you can import from audio from iTunes there we are music from music yeah so we can the contents of your music library will appear here so why isn't it doing then oh I like the way you got sound effects in this as well well if they load I, mean, I think I need to download them uh, the contents of your music will appear here so Hmm. Well, we can play with trailer one for this, this, and then I'll come back and do trailer two quickly anyway when I get the audio for it. Let's just have a look. See if there's. So it's trailer one came down. So the tenth of April content created. So trailer two never came then. That's so frustrating when you probably two files. It probably just did trailer one. I'm not bothered with trailer two. Okay. Well, that don't matter. So yeah, I've exported that anyway. Um, so now we're going to motion. Um, and I'm going to, going to delete this now because it doesn't need to be in there. And we'll f import the. It did come down, look, because it says trailer 2 thingy music there. So that's unusual. Oh well, we're probably just not seeing it. Uh, long journey. So it's the one I've just done, isn't it? Today, is it going into there? It has as well. Oh well. 
so we've got trailer one brilliant so now I just want to get some music I mean some look on the internet um, usually you you click on so let's go on Google uh, let's look for um, B movie horror text and I'll show you how I do this so so we'll look at different fonts uh, horror fonts and I kind of like that's quite a good and feast of flesh scream that's not very good shop regular that's quite good no uh, that's too Tim Burton -y. Um that's two that's zombies so we want something that actually did the description so I'm gonna just go back a minute mm -hmm. oh the font's good I quite like that one there but then it's too much information in it it might be difficult to see uh, Mad Joe's pretty good. I quite like that one inched thing going off there with it. Uh, Night of Terror is quite good, but it's not kind of the style I want. Uh, I kind of think that Another Danger is quite good, but then it's too blood thing. It's Stranger Back in the Night. That's quite a good one. It's got a film noir to it. I like that, yeah, we'll download that one. So just download, allow, uh, go to that, let's install it with uh, Fontbook. Install font, uh, it's called Stranger in the Night, just tick it, install ticked, brilliant. So now I might have to close down Motion to, in, to do it, I'm not sure. So let's just... Uh, let's just bring it in so we'll go for text and we'll draw it in here and um, we're going to go into uh, what's it called strange or something isn't it ah. I think I might have to close it. Well, that's quite a good one, though. Let's have a look what it was called. So, let's just have a quick look again. What was it called? Stranger. Back in the night. So, yeah. Um, you can just click in. I think you can put. You watch. I bet it, I need it to ST. I probably have to close down. S. So I don't think it's imported yet. Sometimes you have to close down the program so it can find it. So just cl we'll just save as and just call it um, trailer one desktop close motion. I think that is usually the case with motion. Um, and then just open motion up again so motion again and hopefully this time it will, will have found it so recent uh, trailer there we are I've got to change the view again because I really don't like that I prefer it to be in the center there we are so uh, so yeah your text text is on the left hand side that shows you kind of like your group settings and everything else uh, it's just let's come out of this a minute I think we've got to go to the inspector haven't we ok yeah uh, all fonts and I think stranger should be there now yeah it is stranger in the night uh, just type some text in so um, call it journey uh, the long 
horrifying. Ah, I've got to be careful because I always spell that wrong. Hence, in the previous presentations. I know what's going off there. It's not all the same size, which is annoying. Sometimes you can you can grab things and it doesn't always get the size, so uh size it's gonna there we are. Let's just make that all one size Oh how annoying. Right, let's just start again. Sometimes these things can happen, so the Let's make it doesn't need to be that big, that's too lot. Come on, grab it all. Uh, so the long, the long horror if eyeing impossible journey, journeys. So here we go. Uh, we could do with that sort of. For some reason, it will just put a couple of spaces in there. So it's thingy. So thingy. <laughs> it's very technical, Richard. So yeah. I don't know what that's doing there. Let's just click the text. Okay, we need to sort of design the text as well, so it works well. That doesn't work very well at the moment. I think you need to. Do that and then move it. I don't like that where that is as well. Oh, that's just a that is the anchor point. So, yeah, the long horrifying journeys will just take the text down a bit as well. Come on, please. Ah, give up. No, the text. Let's just just change the size, please. <laughs> Come on, please. Do as you're told. There we are. Wonderful. Nah, let's just let's make it s cover the screen more. And it's a bit. I suppose this is what puts people off motion. It's there we are. Uh, let's change the line spacing. That's nice. Uh, change the text size now. There we are. And I need to do a space there as well. I think the space is a bit too fingered there. So that's quite good. I like that. Yeah, that's quite good. Uh, and I'll just go back to this again. I wonder if you can do slicing on this. I don't think you can do slicing in this. I think it, you have to do sequences. So let's just move that. Oh, now it changes that. Wonderful. I should have guessed. Uh, so we just change the size within this now. So obviously it's just got to go up. Well, that's better. Yeah, so I didn't realise the actual text frame controls things as well. So we can the long horrifying. Now we can do a thing on here. We can do it so it types, um, and it can type and fade and all sorts of things. So if we go to the library, go to text. We can actually there's actually a text text styles here, um, and you can go. Oh, no, that's no, that's not it. You can actually go for text animations. I think it's behaviors then. Uh, text animation. So you've got. Text scroll, sequence text, text tracking, type on. I quite like type on, but it's not many, is they? Text sequence, look at these. Oh, there's quite a few text sequences. So there's a range in. Uh, you can make it do different things. Pop in. Pop in's quite good. No, it isn't. <laughs> That's basics. Let's have a look at text energetic. So awakening. We can out blasting. I quite like that blasting in thing. 
so it's bouncing debris in that's quite a nice one that's no good jumping magnetic in oh that's let's see what that looks like so if I connect that to the text if I just drag it in to the text here so I'll put it in with the text let's see what it does it automatically animates it for you which is really good <coughs> Now obviously that doesn't last very long does it, so we can change the speed of that and then we can go to the text itself, we don't want it to be there forever and we want it to sort of just last there, that's very loud as well, I'm just going to turn it down a bit because it's a bit, makes me jump Nah, um, I don't really, I think you need to do a bit of text and then a bit of text on the next one and then a bit of text on the next one so I think you need to I think we need to put in the long horrifying to begin with so just get rid of the impossible so I think we need to just get rid of that and that and then we're just gonna go here and I'm going to edit copy right so now it's just going to print and then we just need to change the position of it so the long horrifying we want the text to sort of come in here the long horrifying uh, just change the text as well because it's a bit let's just change the spacing of it so inspector uh, line spacing tracking so Might have to change the size and just do some more tracking on it. And then the size I think as well. So I think we need to sort of meet that there, make it sort of there. Uh, size. So it's long horrifying. That's okay. Uh, position it around right about here. Just take take space out now. Just uh, I like that. Yeah, that's better. Uh, that. So yeah, we've got the long horrifying there. I don't like that coming there. So I might have to. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. How annoying. Uh, I might just change it back. To be honest, to see. Oh, so now it changes it, does it? How odd. How flipping odd. How annoying. I'm just going to go to edit undo. And then undo again, and then undo scale change. There we are. For some reason, it, oh, it was a scale. It scale actually scales as well, does it? Okay. Uh, so let's have a look. Click on that, and it does that there. That's pretty good. So we've got that. Let's have a look at the actual thing. So it's sort of in the middle there. That's good. So let's just have a look. Uh, horror. If yeah uh, and then we'll just edit copy um, I'm gonna go back to this part here so go to edit paste uh, so yeah we've got it unfortunately it's moved so just change the words to the long horrifying impossible journey horrifying impos there we are it's got some more text that needs to get rid of impossible obviously it's because it's at the beginning so the text I like that yeah so just keep it simple as well you know so as soon as it gets to there I might make it a bit longer that how long does the black last for I kind of want it to end sort of just just there magnetic in let's there we go so now we've got and then obviously you go here and you go to edit paste again so just edit paste again and then in this text this time we want a 
and it'll be in the dark area so it'll be oh where does the dark where does the dark go oh here we are and I'll just put the word journeys in There we are, and we just need to move it about so it's sort of so I hope this demonstrates my knowledge. Um, you can actually animate each text itself, but I take this I've done it before in the past it's very it's good fun uh, to do each letter but uh hmm. So we're gonna have to keep it that because it will skip we really scale it, won't it? So I might move that just a little tad over here. Uh I want that to sort of not last as long. There we are. So let's play it back and then see. So. <laughs> Right, it could last. I don't know. Maybe we. Yeah. So as it goes dark here, uh, be warned. Just put be warned in then. So just edit, paste. Just to sort of scare people like the old stuff did years ago. The uh, exploitation movies. Uh, so just put be warned. <laughs> be warned, and then just go to this here and here. Now I'm going to add some interesting effects as well into this. So let's what what have we got? Let's have a look. See if there's any bleeding or blood or sort of anything particle emitters we've got. Uh, we've got we've got sci-fi. Um, we've got smoke, sparkles. Is there anything pyro? So we've got oh, that's for that's five, isn't it? Nature. So nature is quite interesting. So if you click on them, you can sort of see. Oh, that's interesting. Big rain. You could have sort of like. That could, if I change the colour of that, that could be blood uh, dripping down. You've got bubbles. You've got. Don't know what that even does there. That's interesting. Clouds. You've got dust. <laughs> I like that dust one. Oh, that's quite good. You can have like fake dust coming in. Uh, rain streaks. Oh, that's quite interesting. But I don't think rain's necessary. Snow, snow particles, snow blizzards, spout. Oh, I like that. You could have like blood spurting in, couldn't you? You've just got to be quite creative. Uh, you can actually create. Eventually, I want my learning to create my own, um, my own. What if? I, yeah, I quite like that because it just could be. No, then again, it's just going to be a bit off-putting, isn't it? Um, abstract. What does abstract do? What do we get? So yeah, eventually I want my learning to create my own, um, my own particle emitters. You can actually add shapes and make and add all kinds of effects. Uh, corridor is quite interesting. I like that corridor. If I could change the size of it, use it. It might be a bit weird, but that's yeah, that's the crazy thing. So yeah, I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna start studying this a bit more. Um, at some point, I might not even drive train. That's oh, that's quite a good idea. Well, I you know that that could be quite an interesting effect to add into it. Flow. Reflection. 
like that and then I'm going to just make it like white so it adds this kind of weird sort of let's see you never know do you so let's just go down below uh, let's go above actually because I'm scared of it what seems to want to go into there doesn't it so we'll put it around here somewhere so here we are I quite like that and then obviously you've always got that sort of effect now if you go into your property inspector and you go to the object you click on the actual reflection we are given controls here now the first one I want to go into is color and I'm just going to click grays and things so just go to sort of grey there um, and then this colour here I could just like do a bit of a darker grey there we are look so there you are already I've sort of had this I've got this interesting effect coming in here uh, just to add some sort of interesting visuals so I could sort of more put it there um, we can change the emitter controls which this is where you get into deep into the program uh, you can add 3D, no don't do 3D, you can do rows, you can sort of change the rows columns don't really need to do that, radius so I kind of like adding the radius to it um, and I'm just going to duplicate that uh, edit copy and edit paste and then stick it in the, sp in the same area but then just move it sort of around here really and then we'll do a rotate as well so sort of rotate it to there so now as we go along there we are we've got these really interesting abstract ambient effects coming into this just press play because look I like the real time things with this as well I like that. That's it, trailer one. So if we go to there, go to share, um, export movie, um, yep, and then we get given the settings so like everything else, computer. So it'll be MP4. It tells me here that it'll be MP4, HD. So all I've got to do next is just change the 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 mute the audio in the original, bang that in really, um, and then we can do two trailers just with different narration so the narration causes it really uh, if people listen to the narration then they can hopefully that will tell them um, so yeah hopefully that's that's helped so settings and next and just put it on my computer desktop so trailer one uh, I'll just put final oh, I don't matter if it's tap capitals then what you do in motion you just click down here at the wheel and you'll see that it's saying um, writing trailer final usually it's pretty quick especially if it's 1080p on this computer yeah there you are look just it'll just whiz through seems to stop usually around 80% just to do the final stuff but, oh no it did it dead quick so we'll just show you a quick preview of it so Oh well, yeah, it did a bit of an echo there for some reason on the the thing, but it still sounds good. I like the echo, it's quite good that. Yeah, that, that I'm happy with that. Okay, thank you for watching.